Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing a review of the Florian FX10 Mini, and if you can't tell by the title or just by looking at it, this is the new world's smallest quadcopter, and here we have, this is the Spiegel FQ777124, which is um, an exact, exactly the same size as a Cheerson CX10, which everybody knows, to. so I'm just going to base it off of this, and as you can see right next to it, it's a lot smaller, so the record has definitely been broken there. I'll turn them upside down so you can get a look at the motor pods. You can see it is just tiny. Like, literally holding this thing in my hands now, this makes this feel big. This is the new small for everything. And then here we have the JXD502 or JJRC H2, same thing, just rebranding. And as you, if you line them up, they're pretty they're pretty close, but um, it is just a little bit smaller. And as you can tell, definitely from the props there. Um, the the Florian's props are a lot smaller, so it does. This is definitely the new world's smallest, and this thing is just crazy tiny. I have no idea what kind of motors they use in there, but they are just like really thin cylinders. They're so small. It's just crazy the motor size of those, and they're it, I don't know what kind of motors there are. And then this is the transmitter that comes with it. It's um you know it's a lot bigger than a typical nano. Um, and it's actually not too bad. I find it pretty nice. The sticks are nice and smooth. You could pinch them, I think, pretty easily. I mean, not the best, but... Um, then you have your on-off switch up there, and it takes two AAAs in the back. And then another cool feature is it has a little clip here. Uh, hard to get open, but it has a little clip. And then you can put the quad in there, and then just get your... Uh, it just sets in there, and then you get the props out of the way. And then you can store it in the transmitter like that, so it's a pocket quad. And it's not, there's no charger in there, but it does, um, it keeps it, since it's so small and fragile, you can um, store it in there and keep it safe so you don't break anything. Um, it comes with a user manual here, and um, it's actually not too bad a user manual. I was somewhat surprised with it, because this is only like a $16, $17 quadcopter. I bought it off of Gearbest, and um, there's already a couple of the rebrandings I'm, I think this is the original, I'm not sure. I know there's the JJRC, or, yeah, and the DHD, D1 drone, all these other rebrandings already. And I know Cheerson is going to rebrand it as the CX Stars. And just looking at this manual, it looks like the other Cheerson manual, so I know they're going to copy the manual, they're just going to get rid of Florian. Um, but, you know, that's just how it goes, all the clone game. And here's the box that comes with it. Um, pretty nice, too. It has a little, I guess, handle for like a shelf that's just the things inside. Um, but I just had the back since that has a spot open. Or you can see more from it there, but I'll leave it like that. And it comes with a little USB charging cable here. And now it said on the website the internal battery was like 75 milliamp hours, but looking at it, the 75 milliamp hours uh, in this one that I know was 75 because I took it apart, this looks even smaller. I'm maybe like a, a 50. I have no idea. It's just so small. It's such a small cube. Um, and for the transmitter, you have... Let's turn it on here. And if you're wondering, the on-off switch is over here. And then that is a charge port. They couldn't fit it in the quad. It was so small. So you just turn it on here. You let it connect up. And there we go. And now as you can see, there's LEDs on it, and then there is blue in the front and red in the rear, which will, makes a lot of people happy, because I know people don't like red in the front. And the red aren't too great um, in terms of visibility, like brightness, but the blue are actually pretty nice. They're nice and bright, a lot brighter than the CX-10, so that's another advantage. Then here on the transmitter, it's uh, mode 2. For recalibration, you hold the left stick down to the left, and the right stick up to the left, same as um, the CX-10, like that. And then it'll recalibrate there. Um, and for this USB charging cable, it takes about 25 minutes to charge. And you get about, I've been getting about 6 minute flights out of this with a 15 second LVC, which is really crazy just how tiny it is. Um, and 6 minute flights, that's really good, I think. And it has, um, you click in the left stick. Well, first of all, there's, there's um, buttons over here that don't do anything. They click, but they don't do anything. However, over here you have... Forward and backward and left and right, which is your pitch and roll trim. So that's, I mean, that's not too bad a place, I guess. And then um, if you click in your right stick, it'll beep there. And then you, you give your input and it'll do a flip in that direction. So pretty standard. And then also pretty standard is you have on your left, um, 
left stick, you click it in. I was in low rates, now I'm in high rates because it was the um, two beeps. But if you click it again, um, three beeps, it'll, and you can see it starts blinking. It has headless mode. Um, and I, I think it might calibrate the accelerometer and headless when you do the stick calibration at the same time. But um, headless, I have not had very good luck at all with headless, so I just fly in high rates. Um, so then you go right back out of it. And the yaw on this is, it's sort of slow, but this thing is just so tiny. Even with a slow yaw, I can easily do circuits around the, my small room. It can just, you know, easily do stuff. And the pitch is one other thing I have to complain about. The pitch is only... Eh, maybe that much like it's it's really low pitch, but it, it does get around but it's nowhere near as sporty as say like the JXD 502 or the CX-10 so but it's still a really nice flyer It's just so smooth and it's just so crazy tiny. That's the biggest thing here And um, let's see and I've crashed this a couple times and I've had a bent prop or two But um nothing else really is broken than that just bent it back um, let's see, yeah, like I said, it's uh, about like $17 from Gearbest. I'll link a couple other places. I, I bought this one, so yeah, overall, it's just really cool, and I'm really glad to see someone finally dethrone the CX-10 or whatever rebranding you would wish to like, but um, yeah, that was my review, so now let's go check out the flights. Okay, here we are for the indoor flight of the Florian FX-10 Mini, which is officially the new world's smallest quadcopter. So I'll take off here with the remote. I have it set in low rate. And I'll put it down on the ground here so I can do an accelerometer calibration just to make sure of the best flight. Okay, all trims are centered and we're good. And I'll try and hover it here and show you what's, how stable it is. Very stable little quad. How small it is, that's crazy stable. Look at that. Hovering right in front of the camera. Okay, so here's the one yaw rate. So as you can see there, it's a pretty slow yaw. But for something, just how small it is, that makes up for it. And you can easily fly around. Um, here's low rates pitch. So as you can see, very low pitch. Right there. Very low pitch. Fly it around at low rates here. But even in low rates, fly it with that yaw rate. I'm pretty sure it's one yaw throughout the whole thing. Although, I think for headless mode, the yaw gets worse. Okay, it's good enough. Now let's go mid rates. So here's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same yaw. So then here's the pitch. So you can see a little bit better, but still for sure not great. Not too peppy, but, you know. So it's, there's a funnel, sort of. Ooh, yeah, you're not gonna, the yaw is not too great, but it's just, like I said, it's so small. Ooh, whoops. Oh boy. Oh man, set it upside down. Okay, no damage done. So let's do some flips. You just click in the right stick and then give input, and it does really nice flips on this. It has a lot of power to it, and it kicks up straight before. All you have to do, you don't even have to, only the right stick, that's all you have to use. Just set it, draw to a hover, and it's perfect. I mean, this thing is great. And I've flown it plenty of times, like you saw there, I had a crash, had a couple crashes, and no damage at all whatsoever. I really love this thing, and it's so tiny. Okay, let's set it back down on the ground, and... I think it sets headless when you go into it, so it's, yeah, I think it, so here we're in headless, and it actually seems to have a bit more pitch to it, but that, that's the full yaw. That's full yaw right there, look at that, and the lights blink, but, yeah, it's barely even moving. I don't see why headless, headless is only fun because it looks cool while it's spinning, but, um, as you can see there, it's already off, that's full forward, uh-oh. I had to switch out, it was full four, but it was away from me then, so headless is pretty much garbage like all the other ones, but you know, just it flips so nice. And the LEDs are pretty nice, night flight coming up soon. And so yeah, I think that was good enough, it's just really nice. Okay, there we go, that was an okay landing I guess, but that was my review 
of the Florian FX10 Mini, which is a new world's smallest quadcopter, and it actually flies really well. It's not too sporty, but it, and it does have a somewhat slow yaw, but the lights it's, are nice. It's got good power, great flips, and a better transmitter than most Nanos have, actually, because they're spaced better. Um, so yeah, and it has um, decent flight times, too, for how small the battery is, so... Yeah, that was my review. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave any comments or questions you have. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.